Okay, Ned Rig colors. Now, the Ned Rig in itself is one of those techniques that's still very underestimated. It is a very good fish catcher, catches a lot of fish, and people want to know where do you start with colors. And we're in the fall, uh, when this, this video is going up, the fall is a really good time to throw the Ned Rig. A lot of lakes are down a little bit, uh, so there's not quite as much shoreline cover. That's when ye old little Ned Rig comes in very, very handy. Uh, so you, you kind of want to know where do you start with. It is not a typical soft plastic technique to where you're, you know, throwing out, dragging it on the bottom. Like I say, a Carolina rig, you're not, you're not pitching and flipping into cover uh, to try to emulate yeah, bait, you know, bait fish that are around there, or brim, or, or crawfish that are uh, you know coming up right right then. So where do you start with colors? You know, I, I've got two bags. You know, in my boat, <laughs> these are all the different color Ned rig uh, baits that I pick up and put in my boat. So let's let's start right there with the first and most obvious. Let's get the elephant out of the room. Green pumpkin is going to be your number one color by far now it doesn't matter if you're talking uh you know z-man trd or you're talking missile baits ned bomb i just i know that the green pumpkin is the number one selling color in both of those baits bar none far and away uh so that so that's good it's a good starting point so but that is not the only color you need to throw there are a lot of times when you need to go to other colors. So let me just tell you how I've have mine divided up. I've got them divided up into what I call bait fish colors right here in this bag. And then I've got this bag right here called uh, dark or natural kind of, it's probably more of an appropriate term. Now, this is probably the most underestimated, the bait fish colors. We'll come to that next. So stay tuned for that. But the dark ones, uh, green pumpkin is, is, is in this sack right here. Uh, but I'm gonna just, I'm gonna pull out, I'm gonna just pull out everything so I can kind of see what all I've got um, and kind of give you some some ideas here. Now, now here's, you know, green pumpkin, green pumpkin flash tail. That's a, that's a color, it's it's green pumpkin, but it's got a little flash in the tail. When I saw, I want a little, I want to give them a little spice, give them a little kick. Uh, that's that's kind of there. I'm just kind of skip, skipping over that pretty quick. Um, and then whenever I want a little bit of flash or a little pop, like maybe we've got overcast skies, maybe we've got some perch in the area, green pumpkin flash, if you can see that, that is definitely one of my favorite dark colors. It's green pumpkin, it's got a silver hologram flake in it. With the In the green pumpkin, it kind of looks gold a little bit. That is one of my top colors. Uh, it is actually a really good selling color as well, but it is one of my favorite Ned Rig colors uh, without a doubt. Um, now you got, you know, like this is dill pickle chartreuse tail, something with that bright chartreuse tail. I've caught some fish on it. I can't sit here and tell you exactly the, the right spot for that. So I don't have as much confidence in, in that color as I probably should. Um, but let me tell you another color that you definitely want to make sure you have is something with some orange in it. I have seen times when that orange uh, whether it's an orange belly, like this uh, Bammer Craw right here. Uh, it, you know, it's a green pumpkin top with the orange on the belly. It's kind of a darker burnt orange. That color can be really good, especially in the fall. Why, why they get tuned into orange in the fall, not real sure. Uh, but then in the, in the clearer water, probably my favorite orange type color is this... Um, orange green pumpkin core and as you can see it's a it's a core shot color but it's got it's got the uh you know kind of an orange tint to the outside it's and the green pumpkin shoots right through the middle of it 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 definitely gives that that orange tint but it doesn't overpower the uh the bait to where it, it you wouldn't throw it in clear water this thing right here i'll throw that in clear water a lot that is definitely one of my favorite colors in uh, when i want that orange look to it and, you know, I've been a bunch of different parts of the country. I've seen it in Virginia. I've seen it in Missouri. I've seen it uh, up north. When you catch those bass, 
they spit up some crawfish in the live well and there is definitely an orange tint to those fish, to those crawfish. I really feel like that the bass get tuned in to looking for orange, no matter if it's in a bait floating around through the water column or if it's, uh, you know, in an actual crawfish. They get tuned in for that orange color and I think that can make a big difference. Uh, but then also in here, I wanna mention one other color that I want something that's got a red tint to it. Whenever I'm fishing in the spring or I'm fishing in a lake that's still got some milfoil in it or, or some other types of grass, got some clear water, this watermelon red core, it's a it's a, another core shot color, but it's red on the inside and it's watermelon on the outside. And it's got a nice, just a nice greenish, or, you know, red tint to it. For some reason, either in the pre-spawn, immediate pre-spawn, when you've got some clear water and some grass, some kind of watermelon red type color does good in all soft plastics. So don't, you know, forget about your, your Ned baits as well. But that's uh, that's definitely one of my favorites in there. So I, I keep it kind of simple. I've got a couple other colors, like, you know, the GP Blue Tail, whenever I'm, you know, definitely keying on the, the, the brim and the bluegill. That's this is another one I'll mention real quick. But I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on the dark colors because I think that's what most people fish. I want to go definitely over here to the bait fish colors. Got my missile bag full of these different bait fish colors. And I want to go through a, a number of these with you just to make sure that you're not missing um, some of those. Probably the first and most popular bait fish color is, uh, you know, like a goby bite. It's just a kind of a minnow looking color. It's like a green pumpkin watermelony kind of top and it's a blue pearl on the bottom. Definitely very minnow looking, goby looking. That is a bait fish color I think that is definitely worth at making sure you keep in your arsenal or add to your arsenal. Uh, that one is, is really good. Um, my favorite bait fish color when I'm around grass now, that's a different story. You know, I, I talked about grass uh, with the with the natural colors. There are times when I feel like there's a lot of bait fish around the grass. That happens a lot in the fall. You know, maybe you're uh, you're in an area and, and you see the fish blowing up on the edges of grass, uh, and then you don't you're not really sure you know what what to follow up with. They won't hit your top water. They won't hit your spinner baits. They won't hit your chatter baits. They won't hit your jerk baits. Won't hit your flukes. Might need to finesse them a little bit. Uh, and give them a little bait fish color. If I'm around grass, there's this <laughs> color I love right here. It's called Hillbilly Magic. And as you can see, it's just kind of like a smoke. It's almost like a baby bass Yamamoto color. Got some black flake in it and it's got some gold flake in it. Whenever I'm around that that grass, that Hillbilly Magic is, is definitely my go-to. It is definitely my favorite bait fish color because uh, it's very bait fishy. And then Whenever I'm in a um, deeper water lake that's relatively clear, um, more of like a, if I want a bait fish color, kind of like a Table Rock or a Smith Mountain Lake here in Virginia, those kind of deeper, clearer water lakes. This is really one of my favorites. It's called uh, Smoke Pump, uh, Purple Core. It's another core shot. It's got that purple pearlescent in the, in the middle of it. And then it just really, I just I just love that color. Whenever I want that finesse type look to it, uh, so in other words, something that's that's kind of clear, smoky, with a little purple tint, purple flake, something like that. That's what you want to kind of go with in those in those environments when you've got that that sunny sky. Conditions get a little tougher. Uh, I've got some other colors here, baby bass. I'm not gonna not gonna show you everything. Um, you know, in Florida. When I go down there, the water clears up a little bit. This is, I mean, I've designed this color exactly for, for Florida when I want a little bait fish color. It's called Golden Shiner Core, and it has a very gold sheen to the center of it, and it's very much like a smoke color, but it's got that, that gold sheen to it. Uh, Golden Shiner Core. I will be taking those when I go to, off the on the Elite Series this spring. Um, you know, fishalicious, you know, an actual, like, you know, minnow looking bait fish color is, uh, is a good one. And then if I want a little bit of, of flash, 
there's a silver core flash. It's kind of like the Golden Shiner core, but it's silver and it's got a bunch of flashy flake in it. It's kind of harder to see with the light we've got in here, but just gives you another another option for something with a little more something with a little more pop. Here's one, uh, maybe it has a little more more flash to it, but yeah, I mean it's not it's not rocket science to just keep in mind the bait fish colors versus those dark colors when you're out there Ned rig fishing. Um, you know, and, and then people have different color heads that they like to do. This is, you know, just your straight black, black head. Uh, there's an eighth ounce with the black, black head. That's, that's usually what I like on the, um, that smoke pumpkin, uh, smoke purple core. Uh, and then, you know, then your, there's your, your green pumpkin head with a green pumpkin Ned bomb. It's, you know, it's kind of hard to beat all around right there with that color. Uh, like I said, the green pumpkin, that's what most, that's like default, that's what default settings are on a Ned rig. It's what most people kind of go with. Uh, but I'm telling you, you are missing it. If you don't keep in mind bait fish colors, Ned rig uh, baits with orange in them and Ned rig baits with red in them. Those are the big misses there. If you don't, you just keep those in mind, make sure you have a couple orange baits i've played around with orange head orange colored heads i've played around with chartreuse colored heads they definitely work i know a lot of people out there are like dude shut up about those chartreuse heads we you know missile baits doesn't make an a chartreuse head z-man does with their shroom heads they make a, a chartreuse head that is one of the favorite color heads of ned katie who the whole technique is kind of named after the ned rig ned katie uh, he calls it the midwest finesse rig but that's just a, a humble way of saying i'm not going to call it my own name rig but uh he, he's a he's, he's really kind of the forerunner uh kind of the inventor so to speak of that technique he doesn't like to take credit for it but he's the one that helped put it on the map uh, regardless so that's why the ned rig but he likes that chartreuse colored head black head and missile baits has a plain colored head which you can you can dip whatever color you want and that's the one of the reasons we did that we, we came out with that that plain colored head on the uh, ned balls that has has no paint on it you can get your powder paint put whatever you want on there whatever color under the rainbow that you can think of that you want to put on there we go, went ahead and did that as well so you can kind of do uh, do it yourself there and hopefully find that right combination that works for you but keep in mind those different color categories as you're out there ned rig fishing in the fall and in the spring and in the summer and you'll end up catching a whole lot more fish and if you have anything that you'd like to add any other colors that you want to see or that you you think that people need to know about please drop it down there because i'm always interested and want to know what's working out there for you guys